Of course, if you did not know or you forgot, Les Red Cougs, Deion Dunlap, Andy Yanez, and me will be in Vegas from for Football Media Days for Les Red Cougs. So we're going to do some shows from Vegas, Les Red Cougs, Vegas style. So watch for that. Subscribe to, of course, the Houston Round Ball Review YouTube channel, as well as Pod Slamma Jamma. Click on those bells. You can receive notifications when those shows are posted and when those shows go live from Vegas. All right. <clears throat> oh, no, Justin, no problem. We can talk about that. Let me do this real quick. Rockets. I doubt they draft Jamal. Who was it? I saw uh, Sam Bassini from The Athletic this morning had, I think, the Knicks in the second round drafting Jamal. ESPN's draft folks yesterday had the Heat drafting Jamal, both in the second round. Justin, Detroit firing Monty was inevitable. It was either going to happen now, this summer, or next summer. I did think, and Willie Gibson and I mentioned it on Folks Talking Sports on Monday, I thought when Detroit announced the hiring of Fred Vincent to the staff, that that meant Monty would get one more season. I'm relieved he's gone. It just didn't, it just didn't work. It just, the fit wasn't there. The writing was on the wall. Hell, before Monty got hired. When Monty said no the first time. And Detroit owner Tom Gores raised up his offer and basically made Monty Williams an offer he couldn't refuse. But it just wasn't, the fit wasn't there. And truly, Watson. Detroit games last season, there were just way too many times. I'm wondering and thinking to myself, what the hell is Monty doing? What, what is he doing? Is he coaching these guys? What, what is he doing? So he, I give him credit for not tossing his players under the bus, you know, taking a hit for his players and when they didn't get fouls and, the foul discrepancy was massive in a lot of games. But beyond that, he had to go. He just had to go. 